Yo, it's Bo Marcus and Morrison back in the video. And today we are ranking every pistol in Kyle Mobile. Um, just want to go ahead and put a little PSA out there. This is an all time list. I'll be ranking them based off how they've been in MP and BR ranked over the entire course of this game's life cycle. So if it was really good in season one, that will be taken into consideration. And if it was really good for one season out of nowhere, right when it first came out, and then you get pretty much garbage the rest of the time, also consider that. And uh, yeah, also one other PSA, all these pistols suck right now, just using melee. Um, the Elkar 9 is about the only usable one, and that's why you're seeing it here. That being said, coming in at the number eight spot, the worst pistol in COD Mobile history, you could definitely say it is the J358 Revolver. I don't think there's much that needs to be said. Look, this thing sucks. It's got a ton of visual recoil. It's got six rounds at the most, eight if you put on this other attachment, but that's not enough. And it's super strong, but it still kills in two shots. And hitting those shots can be very difficult due to the super long delay. Number seven, though, the Dabra. I don't, I don't like this gun at all. It's probably my least favorite pistol. You can make it full auto, so it's easier to use. It's got an 80 round drum mag. It's almost like an SMG pistol. I hate it, but it is. It's a viable option. It's way better than the J358. Number six, the nail gun. I personally much prefer this. It's got about 20 rounds in the magazine. You can't put attachments on it. Um, it's still pretty solid though. It pretty much is going to kill in four to five shots, mostly four, I believe. And I believe they nerfed it a while back for some reason. Cobb Mobile loves to nerf pistols. They just no point in nerfing any of the pistols, but they love to nerf them for absolutely no reason. I don't understand why. But the diamond nail gun does look dope. Number five, the machine pistol. This is our most recent addition to the pistol class, and if it's a Vanguard pistol because they're following this Vanguard attachment system with the MG42 and this, and I, I don't know what the hell they're doing. They don't know what they're doing, so who knows? Um, this thing shoots fast, absolutely takes 900 shots to kill because it's so weak, but it does shoot fast, so I guess it must be broken, right? Because everybody seems to think the MG42 is broken. Anyway, shoots fast, takes forever to kill. Uh, it's got a fair amount of recoil. Um, it's not really good at pretty much anything, and it hasn't really been the meta because it sucks, generally speaking. Number four, we're coming in with the Renetti. Now, this is actually a solid pistol. It's been solid throughout the life cycle of the game. Um, right now, it's probably one of the better pistols in the game. I would say this is probably the second best. It is. Uh, it pretty much can one burst. It's very strong right now. I think they just haven't got around to nerfing it yet, but it's pretty solid. It's been solid all, pretty much throughout the game's life cycle. The main problem with it is the burst delay. Um, so really like the burst fire rate and then the time in between each burst that's the main problem it, it would be a lot better if you didn't have to wait too long for the burst to go off that being said it's definitely not the best pistol in the game it's just a viable option that's been solid all the way around three the point fifty gs also known as the diamond deagle i guess in this case and uh super strong once again it is very strong, but unlike the J358, you get a lot more bullets with this thing. And although the visual recoil is a lot more, not like it's not as bad, but it's just easier to use since the gun's more appealing. And with that one meta period that it had, it's definitely worth the number three spot. A lot of people like it, it's a fan favorite. Two, the Elkar 9. I, I mean, you guys got to know what the top two are. LK9, best SMG in the game right now, because it's not even SMG, but you can pretty much use it like one. Uh, full auto, going to come with 30 rounds if you build it how you're supposed to. And you got insanely good movement speed, as you'll see right here. You got super good strafing speed. And uh, yeah, it pretty much does everything you want. And it's a pistol, so anytime you want to whip this thing out, you can. And it's the best, S not best SMG, but the best pistol in the game right now, as we speak. But number one, the MW11. Who cannot remember that uh, full auto MW11 where it kept the same damage profile? So the MW11 should kill in pretty much three shots. Um, but it was pretty much full auto. So it shot like three times as fast as you're seeing it shoot now. And it had less visual recoil because that was back before they nerfed the crap out of it. Every single update, which is what they like to do to this pistol. 
which is unfortunate because I love the MW11 in this specific game. That being said, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I missed, what order you think I got wrong. And I will see y'all in the next video. I'm out. Peace.